Hello and good evening. Welcome to Plan with Fox, the planner channel where sometimes there's planning, but always there are cuss words. Yeah. And candles. There's always candles. This was last week's spread. I did fill some stuff in here of the chores that I did. My entire week of running got completely jacked. I don't even want to talk about it or think about it. We're going to move on. Week three was a wash. We're going to take week four of marathon training and do better. <laughs> so we are planning now. I gotta stop doing this because it makes a loud sound and I forget it every week and then I go to edit and I'm like, what is that sound? Okay. We are editing now the week of Monday, January 20th through Sunday, January 26th. The kit that I am using is from Katka Korea Planners, which I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. I've used their kits before and they're super cute. It's little winter bears. Oh, look at that. Little winter bears. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Gonna just get started, jump right into this. I think these washi for the bottoms here might be a little bit skinny, but then I had really fat ones last time. Anyway, last week was um a week. I, uh, I don't know how it is January 20th. Like, how are we 20 days into the new year already? I don't, I don't even know. How am I on week four of marathon training already? Like, what is literally going on? I don't know. I am about to start like a week of ridiculousness for work. So, as I've mentioned before, my normal schedule is seven out of eight days I work and then I have six days off, and it's pretty sweet. Well, I had to go to a meeting last week, yeah, on the 14th, and so I had to swap. You have to take the meetings on your day off. So if that's your day to work, which it was my day to work, you have to swap with your partner. So normally I'd be off tomorrow, Tuesday, but I have to work because I had to swap with her for last week. So that kind of stinks. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. I want to like meal plan and cook stuff for the week, but that ship has sailed. I have run out of time. And then normally I would be done Wednesday, but we have our annual inventory at the store Thursday the 30th next week, so I have to work that day too. So I will work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> and then I'll be off on the 31st, finally. So I'm not real pumped about that. I'm a little bit anxious and I'm a little bit like trying to get everything done. And so, <sighs> I think I'm okay. Like we got, my parents came over on Friday and helped me clean the house. We had our little wine party on Saturday. So my parents came over and helped me clean. We got everything ready. I'm trying to think of where I can use this double one. What days? Probably Tuesday and Wednesday. I could use that. If this is gonna be like a really quick and boring plan with me, so I apologize in advance because I am just working. Like I'm just working. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> My parents did come over and help me clean. So we got the house really clean. And then of course, you know, having 17 guests or 18 guests, no, we had 16 guests. There were 18 of us total. So having 16 people at your house for a party, that kind of throws a loop in your cleaning, but we managed to get the house back in pretty good shape. Husband did most of the cleanup, which is awesome. He does that. That's kind of like his pet project is after everybody leaves a party, he does some basic cleanup before bed. <laughs> to help him like unwind from the, I don't know. I like hosting, here's here's where my anxiety goes, right? I get anxious at parties and things like that. I do much better when we host a party versus when I go to a party at somebody else's house because I have a job to do and I know like I'm hosting, I can get people things and I can, you know, when we do these wine nights, I can talk about the wine that I'm pouring for everybody and then I can pour the wine and then I can bring people what they need and like I know where things are because it's my house and I feel safe. So I like that, but it's still, it's still stressful to be like on the whole time and you know have to be high energy and be like checking in with your people and everything, even though they're people that you love. So I get exhausted and as soon as the last person is out the door, I'm like asleep 19 seconds later and husband chooses to tidy up and I think that's how he unwinds. I just go like pass out. And he's like, no, I have to stay busy for a little bit and like get my brain right. I'm like, okay, so it's a pretty good system that we have. I had to turn my phone off because we were going out to dinner in a little bit here. And now I'm on the group chat about the dinner details. So, so it is Monday. I am, 
every week I'm like, I'm gonna go back to planning on Sundays. I'm off every Sunday, so I have the opportunity to plan on Sundays. But husband's also off every Sunday, and so it's kind of like, I don't know. In a way, I can just be like, hey, dude, can you go downstairs, please, and, and let me do my planner video? I could do that, but usually we're like spending time together and bullshitting and like working in the same room and whatever, and I don't know. So, in any case, I didn't get the planner done yesterday, and then I had a bunch of shit I wanted to do today, so I was like just gonna work on that until I get some free time to do my planner. And now here I am doing my planner for the week. So it's been a productive day. I have had a productive day. I don't know if you can hear my dog snoring in the background, but she is snoring like a Snorlax back there. She's so cute. She had a great time at the party. She was just like, at first she didn't realize that people had food until she was just like, doo -doo -doo, not really, just kind of chilling on the carpet and not really doing anything. And then it was like a click, like, oh shit, all these people have food. And then she was like, Hi, can I have some of that? Hi, can I have some of that? Like, classic Layla Grace. Okay, there's the basics of everything. I am gonna put on here this week, here this week. I'm gonna put a goal in there, I think. And then I'm gonna do some stuff here. I'm gonna do some stuff and things. So I just finished, I finally, okay, don't judge, it's the 20th, I know this, and I finally just finished my power sheets, like, goal prep stuff for the year, or for at least the first, the way the power sheets are this year, it's kind of more geared towards quarterly, you can, like, adjust your goals every quarter, and so I have one goal for the year that's about my garden, and I really can't start anything related to that until... It's nicer weather so in pennsylvania that means i probably can't start anything in my garden until like april so the first quarter of the power sheets it's not going to take me through there it's going to just take me through the end of march so that one i like didn't really have much to put in there and i know i'll do a revamp whenever you do you do every season you do like did you reach your goals and you do like a summary and you like look through it i want to work on a morning routine and a nighttime routine so as of right now my morning routine is just get up at least two hours before i have to leave for work and work on planner or bullet journal or memory keeping or photo edits, anything like that. So I just wanna make sure I do my morning routine every day. Today doesn't really, when I'm off, it's like less, I don't know. And then I wanna do an evening routine. So I don't really have anything set for that so much. I just wanna make sure that I spell evening right. I did. And I wanna make sure that I wash my face before bedtime, I know this is like, really like basic things, but I want to wash my face before bedtime, set my sunrise alarm clock, and read in bed a little bit. So that's my goal is to do at least like 10 minutes of reading. If I fall asleep faster, I fall asleep faster, but whatever. So anyway, that's going to be for now my nighttime routine. Not very serious, but. So this morning I walked dogs. So this is what I'm talking about with my like day off morning routine. So like when I walk dogs, I have to be there at seven. So usually I get up at like 6.15 and then I just kind of wander down there. I could be getting up at 5.30 like I do on a day that I work and doing something beforehand. But usually if I'm off, then I do my morning routine stuff after I get home. Because if I get up too early, then I have to eat before I go to the shelter. And then that sets off my eating schedule for the whole day. So I'm just kind of like getting up, going to the shelter and then coming home and then doing that. So I will count this because I really did a lot of shit. Okay, so dog walk. Today was a horrible, horrible, all the dogs were in the mood to be naughty and not listen and be rowdy. I was like literally checking my phone. Is it a full moon? And it's like, no, it's not. I'm like, what the fuck? So yeah, that was my day. So I'm gonna use a little to-do list here because I did a lot of things today because it's been a very productive day. So I'm gonna put this here. And I'm going to just write down the things that I did. It should have been done, this should have been done in the morning and then I should have done the things, but first I did the things and now I'm gonna put them on my list. One of my goals was to finish my power sheets, which I did. Then filming the plan with me, which I'm doing right now, so I'll check it off when I'm done. Then edit the plan with me. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that before I leave here because I'm going to meet my girlfriends for dinner. Then I have two loads of laundry to finish. I just wanna do those before bed. Mm, I don't know. I did tidy the top of my filing cabinet and I did file paperwork that I needed to file for like bills and stuff. So 
next week I have to make sure. Sometimes there's one of them on like a little, like how this thing says to do. Sometimes there's one on here that says next week, but it doesn't look like it. So I need to make sure that I do my inbox things next week, which is like I have to go to the bank and I have to send in my renewal for the gym and things like that. And like, Kind of shit that like you have to do, but it takes up way too much of your time, and you're like, ah, that's the, that's the stuff. I'm gonna put in here family time because my parents came over to visit today. My mom had a hair appointment up the street from our house, so they came over to visit for a little bit and talk and just hang out. So I did that, and then we are going to dinner tonight, and you're gonna be so excited. Hold on, let me put this in here. Last week, I could not find, for the love of anything my Flora Taco stickers. I found them tonight. They were in a place that I swear to you, I checked at least once, probably twice, and I couldn't find them. They were like stuck behind my brunch stickers, but there she is, Flora from Fat Cat Designs, eating a taco, because we are going out for Mexican food tonight. I don't know why I'm like Little Miss going out for Mexican food every week all of a sudden. Not good for my diet. Put it in my power sheets that I want to be eating healthier, and here I am. And then tonight after that, husband and I are meeting at the cage. And I'm not gonna get dinner there tonight, but we're just gonna still hang out because that's my creative Monday is always there. So, since I'm not really doing anything interesting, I'm wondering if I should use the space here, on, since I'm working every day, to do like what my morning routine, like what I do during my morning routine, and just kind of see, I'm debating. I don't really have a good sticker for that, but oh, I do, I do, I do. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Something else I wanted to put into is the days that I'm going to actually cook this week. There's only a couple because of the way that my schedule is. So I was gonna use some meal planning stickers for that. So I'm gonna add that in too. All right, so tomorrow is a work day. I think I have, I have just enough work stickers for the week. So tomorrow I have to, I, I'm just, I'm struggling with my running, like I said, and I, what I did, I'm going to show you. I'm going to pause the planner situation for a minute. I'm going to show you what I did in my wellness planner. I use a happy planner wellness planner for my fitness stuff. I bought it last year. Cindy Gunter Baldo, if you follow her llama letters, she was using one and I was like, this is so cute. And I love tracking fitness and I have done like bullet journal style memory keeping things for marathon training and things like that. So I wanted to do that again. So I started it in August and I did not get very far. I got that's the only page that I got. And then I just kind of dropped off the face of the earth. So what I decided to do was restart it in January. So oh, we're gonna skip that page for now. So I have to print the pictures still. What I'm gonna do, right now I'm a little bit behind on my printing pictures, but so when I do my memory keeping in my bullet journal, I keep a little space for pictures and then I print them out and I put them in there. I think I only got through the very beginning of last year and like I did keep up with the memory keeping, but I have to, put the pictures in still. So I have the space for them. I just haven't printed them. I was going back and forth about which kind of paper I wanted to use. Did I want to just print photos at Target or whatever? And then, or do I want to print them on my printer, which is what I was doing and it's not great quality, so I don't know. Anyway, so this is what I'm doing. I'm keeping track of my fitness in here. So I'm behind, I have to catch up on this. This is a plot project for this week to hopefully catch up some. But I really love this planner. But what I ended up doing, so now we'll go back to page, is I put my, yesterday I sat down and I finally put my marathon training schedule into here. Okay, so normally I like to run four days a week. I, three days a week is not enough for my brain. Five days a week, I'm afraid that I will get bored with running. So I try to do four days a week and that's what I've done for my other previous marathons and distance races. And that has really worked very well for me. So I went in and I marked off the days that I work because the problem is right now I work grown up hours now at my job. I used to work varied hours, so I would work like eight to two some days, or two to nine other days, or nine to nine one day and then have two days off. Like, it was much less consistent, but the nice thing was, I hated working till nine, don't get me wrong, I hated working till nine, but if I worked two to nine, then I could get up in the morning and run before, you know, and now, nine to six, it's like dark when I go to work and dark when I come home from work. So it's been nice Wednesday nights. My friends have been running Wednesday nights, so like last Wednesday, my friend Emily and I ran on Wednesday night together and that was perfect. But I get a little nervous about running by myself at dark. So I've talked to a couple friends and friends who are also women who run by themselves in the dark in a couple locations around Pittsburgh that I feel like, okay, I can safely do that. So that's what I'm gonna try tomorrow. After work, I'm gonna try to go and run 
and we'll see what happens. If I get abducted, then you probably will never see this video because I highly doubt I'm gonna get it edited tonight before I leave for dinner, so. But I went through, and this actually like helped my brain a lot, was to put in my long runs are all with a little pink dot, and then I put in all my mileage in the bottom left-hand corner so I can see. So, like, I didn't even get a long run in. We did five miles yesterday, and that was the most that we had the energy for, those of us who ran together. So, like, but this week I work on Saturday, so I'm just going to do six miles before work, and then my long run will be 12. It'll be on Sunday. So, I went through and I did that all the way up through the marathon, which is my second or third. So, I put in all my long runs, and, like, this is St. Patrick's Day, so we're going out, so we're going to do our long run Friday night. We're going to do a night run, 18-miler. So, anyway, that's what I did, and that seemed to help my brain get more organized. So now, I feel like I have that in there, and I'm going to be able to translate that over into my planner here. And then now that I have a plan, I don't know, it should be better. But I was able to work it around and be like, okay, if it's a day off, I can do my long. So if I have a six-mile or an eight-mile midweek run, I can do that on my day off. This week's an anomaly because I'm picking up that extra shift. But like, for example, if I had an eight-mile midweek run, normally that would be tomorrow, or the following week it would be Thursday. So hopefully that makes sense. So tomorrow, I work nine to six, then I'm gonna go run after work. And then we decided since it's my first day back and it's an extra day, and since I'm not having dinner at the cage tonight, we're gonna have dinner tomorrow. So we're just gonna do the cage two nights in a row. So then that takes care of that. Wednesday I work, and then in the evening I'm going to a class, a dog class. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my fitness this day. So I'm gonna put in a fitness sticker. I have these Chrissy Ann designs. It's like a meal planning and fitness, wellness, whatever. So the days that I don't have a run or don't have like dog walk was my fitness for the day, I'm gonna put in here one of these stickers and then I'll eventually fill this out. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing about dinner this night because I'm gonna go straight from work to the seminar. So it's a resource guarding seminar. So resource guarding is very near and dear to my heart because my dog Lucy was a resource guarder. And that was the first experience I ever had with resource guarding and I was like, holy shit, I'm not prepared for this. And I got much better and much more comfortable with what you do and how you manage it because it's really basically something that you have to manage. So our shelter is doing a resource guarding seminar and I was like, I have to go to this. This is like gonna be super good for me. So I'm going to that right after work. I'm just gonna leave straight from work to go over there and I'm gonna have to figure out food on the way. I don't know what I'm gonna do, so. All right, so Thursday, let me put in my morning routine. And I'll put it in for Friday as well. Thursday, Friday, morning routines. And then put in my work shifts. So there's my work schedules are in there. Then Thursday night is the one night that we are gonna cook and that's gonna be my other run day. So I'm gonna go and run after work and then we're gonna cook when I get home from that. I would like to run on Wednesdays because there is the organized group runs through PBR, Pro Bike and Run. But since I'm going to that seminar, that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna cook and what I decided to make that night, it seems really easy. So it's the one pot, 30 minute meal. So it is, it's like a shrimp pasta with fresh veggies. Stickers are too glossy. Mm, that's gonna end badly. Okay, Friday I work. We're gonna have, well, you know what, our oven's not gonna be, our oven is on the fritz. So my dad is replacing a part in it. And so we don't have a working oven. So we were gonna make stuff Friday night before we go out dancing. I don't think that's gonna happen now. I think we're gonna have to, it. The place that we go dancing has a pizza place in it, so I think that's what we're just going to do. We're just going to get pizza there, just get a slice of pizza while we're dancing. It is my favorite night of the month. I don't know. Then Saturday will be six miles before work, and then I'm working. And then Saturday night, we are going out to celebrate the Lunar New Year, which is exciting. Because as you may recall, as you may recall, our actual New Year's Eve New Year got completely jacked up by a wedding happening at the same time as dinner and our drinks all coming at once and me being like, I'm cold and drunk, call my dad. I don't know where we're going to dinner yet. We did not get dinner reservations yet. There we go. 
I'm not gonna fill this out yet because I don't know where we're going to go to dinner. And we're just gonna go see if any of the art galleries are open downtown, kind of wander around downtown, take some pictures, maybe go see the river at night. It'll be pretty. Okay, so then Sunday is my long run now. That'll be 12 miles. Date night sticker for here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Go out dancing. Look at that. I'm using all my extra stickers. It's exciting. Exciting. I do have a weekend sticker, which I can't really use because I don't really have a weekend. So what I'll do that I sometimes like to do to make myself feel sad when I only have one day off at a time. Whoa, I covered up. Oh no. Weekend. There we go. Okay, there's my weekend. I was looking for, oh, here's planning time. Meal plan, planning time. It's possible we might go to a coffee shop or something that day. And then we should probably, I think we're, we're going to do a blog entry about our Lunar New Year party, how we celebrate it. So I think we should probably write that out. Okay, so then my workout this day will be dancing. I don't have any planning there. Run, run, there's my three runs and my fourth run is tomorrow. Okay, I think that covers everything. I feel like maybe I should put a to-do list tree thingy here. I'm gonna have to cut off the bottom because the weekend is taking up too much space. That way if I wanna put any to-do list stuff in there. I don't think we have any other plans for Sunday. I could be totally wrong. I didn't really check the calendar very well. Let's see if there's anything else that I need to add into here. I do need to edit my vlog. I can put that on Thursday actually, I'm gonna do that. I can't believe how naughty all the dogs were being in here. I was like, what the hell? You all are not like this. Where did this come from in your little brains that you want to be this naughty? You want to hear? Okay, close your ears right now if you don't want to hear the word, the story about the word Poosplosion because it's about to get real. Okay, so we have this dog named Boswell and I love him. He's like my baby boy. He's very, very sweet, super, super affectionate, but lots of energy and he lives for Tug. He discovered tug of war and now his life has changed and all he wants to do is tug of war. It doesn't matter if it's his leash, if it's his harness, if it's your sweater, your gloves or mittens, he's on it. He's like, tug is my world. So we went for a walk and he, and there's no easy way to say this. We went for a walk. He decided to take a giant, very non-solid shit on top of a big chunk of ice so he was like his little legs were like sliding out from under him while he's trying to poop and I'm like why would you do this why would you plan this out this was a bad idea little dude but he's like looking at me like I, I know I've gotten myself into this situation and now I don't know what to do with it I'm stuck doing this and I'm like okay whatever just hurry it up so I go over and I'm trying to clean it up and of course I'm trying to not stand on ice because I don't want to stand on ice and slide all over like he was doing while I'm trying to clean his poop up. Around the corner comes a worker with a, a leaf blower who is blowing snow into the street and Oswald sees him and gets super excited. I'm trying to pick up the poop. I get the poop into the bag. Oswald grabs the bottom of the bag and decides to play tug with it. He basically like pulled the bottom of the bag and poop exploded everywhere, all over him, all over me, like all the way down his leash. Like it was just horrifying. It was, it was the stuff of nightmares. I'm going to have nightmares about this day for the rest of my life. So needless to say, his walk got cut short. And thankfully the dude with the leaf blower was like, I'll just blow the rest of the poop into the street. And I'm like, I don't know if the city of Pittsburgh really wants you to do that, but thanks, I guess. So yeah, we made it back to the shelter and I got, by the time we got back, Oswald had cleaned himself up. I don't know how. And I cleaned all my shit up. And like literally, I just, when I got home, I had one more dog to walk after that. I walked him and then I like put as much of my stuff as I could, like my mittens and things that were like, I could take, like I couldn't take my pants off at the shelter to get into the car. So I just like cleaned those off in the bathroom the best I could. Threw my gloves into a poo poo bag, <laughs> brought everything home and just threw it in the wash on sanitize for two hours. <laughs> just like, how did this happen? How did this happen? But that's my life, it did happen. I don't know what we're gonna make on Sunday, but I'm gonna meal plan, and so I'll put it in there once we figure that out. I think that's everything. I'm gonna do my morning routines in here. I'll fill this out more once we figure out where we're going. 
I think that is everything. It seems like, I feel like I'm missing something. I'm going off of my little list here and everything seems like I hit the little list completely. I didn't put this week in yet because I'm gonna think about it. But that's where we are. I'm gonna try to get this up as soon as I can. Oh, I know what I was gonna add. I was gonna add edit vlog here. I knew there was something I was forgetting and then I started talking and I just got sidetracked. I'm one vlog behind. I have one extra vlog to edit. So maybe I'll have time to do that Sunday, but I'm not getting my hopes up. We'll see. Like I said, the next this next stretch of work is just gonna be get through it, you know, survive it and move on. Okay. So that's where we are for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I publish videos twice a week. I publish a plan with me every week and a vlog every week, usually on Monday or Thursday or Tuesday or Friday or thereabouts. So if you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe. And I hope everybody has a wonderful week and that I hope that you have no poo explosions in your life because I think I took the poo explosion fall this week. I took that one for the team. You're all off the hook. No poo explosions for any of you. Have a good one.